nestled in the hills of Fayetteville, is a treasure for all of the people of Northwest Arkansas. Today we're going to learn about everything that Mount Sequoia has to offer. Come check it out with me. Jess, thank you for welcoming us to Mount Sequoia uh, today. I think when most people in Fayetteville and Northwest Arkansas think about Mount Sequoia, they think of it as a, a religious conference center or almost like a church camp. That was, that was Mount Sequoia's history. It's not necessarily what it is today, but, but that's been the history of this place, right? It sure has been. For 94 years, uh, this site was operated by the United Methodist Church. Uh, it's an interesting history because in 1922, they were looking for a site in an eight state region and different towns were competing to be the place where the Methodists built this new center. And Fayetteville offered them this mountaintop and offered to run roads and electricity up here if they would come here and they gave them the property. So in 1922, the Methodists chose this site for their center and from then until 2016, uh, this was a United Methodist Center. So there's good reason why people think of it as a religious center. But things evolve and change over time and it got to a point where there's kind of the realization of wanna, we want to shift the focus and the, and the mission of Mount Sequoia. So, so tell us a little bit about, about what that is now. Well, we have changed. In 2016, the Methodists spun us off. And so we're not connected with the church at all anymore. And today we are an independent nonprofit corporation with an educational mission. And so what we're doing now and have been doing for the last three years is figuring out how we can best serve Northwest Arkansas in an educational way. And we're doing that in a number of ways uh, with new programming and new partnerships with the university and other organizations. And it's been an exciting time. And, it, and in many ways, a bit of a trying time as we've been trying to find our place and be financially feasible. And yeah. it's been going really well. That's, that's really great. So throughout Northwest Arkansas and Fayetteville, there are people that have kind of a, a sense or a, an idea of what Mount Sequoia is all about. If you wanted to have people understand one thing about Mount Sequoia, what, what would that be? I'm really glad you asked that. That's uh, the biggest message I really want to send to the folks in Northwest Arkansas is that they are welcome here. I think in the past there was a sense that they were not welcome here unless they were really part of a program. Folks are welcome to come up here to walk their dog, to sit around and enjoy, use the swimming pool, and also come to programs and events that we have here. So as I like to say, the gate is always open and folks are welcome here. Rebecca, you are the uh, Director of Hospitality here at, at Mount Sequoia. Great. Tell us about some of the ways that people use your campus. All right, so uh, we host a large amount of weddings at Mount Sequoia throughout the year. We have our um, beautiful outdoor chapel where we are right now. We also have an indoor chapel and a number of reception spaces. Um, again, both indoor and outdoor for small intimate um, events or you know up to a reception of 250. Uh, we can provide the catering and um, lodging for the event as well, for the wedding. Um, so that's really, that you know, it's convenient for a lot of couples. It takes a lot of stress out of the planning that they can do everything here in one place. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, besides weddings, what are other ways that, that people use the campus? So I imagine corporate retreats, personal retreats, those yes. kinds of things? Yes, actually both of those. Yeah, we, we host a lot of corporate retreats. Um, and um, a lot of nonprofits come up here to host maybe day meetings. Um, we host a lot of family reunions, especially during the summer, around Thanksgiving. Um, people like to book some of our facilities that have full kitchens so that they don't have to have all of their family come to their house. They can rent one of our spaces and, you know, dirty it up and then just everyone be on their way. That's a um, fantastic <laughs> idea. <laughs> yes, uh, but yeah, you mentioned personal retreats too, which is a great way to use our spaces because sometimes you just need to just get away for a night. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do it myself yeah. and I work here. So and <laughs> if, if someone wanted to come either with by themselves or with a group, mm -hmm. where do you stay? What's the lodging like? So we actually, we have 49 individual guest rooms that are like a standard hotel or motel style room. 
Um, we also have a number of houses, um, everything from um, a one bedroom, one bathroom to a three bedroom, three bathroom house that you can rent here on the property. Um, and with that, you know, especially in the summertime, you get to take advantage of our great amenities like our swimming pool, our tennis courts, the hiking trails that are adjacent to our facility. Um, everyone is always welcome to just come and walk around the grounds, but that's a perk of coming up here to stay. Christina, you are the Director of Development and Communications here at Mount Sequoia. Uh, tell us about the ways that you are reaching out to the Fayetteville community and the broader Northwest Arkansas community. Well, one of those ways is, is through our programs. Um, we have three areas of programs, the first being our, our, um, our day camp program. Um, keeping kind of with the mission of this being, being a perfect place for camps, um, we offer day camps for children ages 5 to 12. And um, Right now we have our Create Camp going on, so um, kids are here making arts and crafts, they're also engaging with, with the campus, um, they're swimming in our pools. Um, one of the great things about our day camps is that it's perfect for working parents. So you can drop off as early as 745 and pick up as late as 515. Wow. Um, and not only are they summer camps, but we have we have camps during any time the kids are out of school. So spring break, Thanksgiving break, winter break, and we're going to be starting an intercession for those year-round schools. That's really fantastic. Uh, not just programs for kids, but programs for adults as well. Yeah. Uh, there's an arts program? That's right. We are just um, getting started with our arts program. It's called Creative Spaces at Mount Sequoia. So the goal is to eventually see some artist residencies happening here. So you see our great spaces. It's perfect um, for artists to, to work and to live. Um, right now we have some artists who are working on campus um, renting studio space and they often will have open houses and um, teach classes so the community can engage with those artists in that way. Fantastic. And culinary arts too? Yes, culinary arts too. So we recently hired executive chef Justice Mall. Um, in addition to doing all of the catering on campus, he also um, hosts some of his own events. Um, and keeping with our mission as an educational nonprofit, they do have um, an, an educational stint to them. So people who buy tickets can come and experience something like a brewmaster dinner. Um, the brewmaster will be on hand. Uh, Justice partners with a local brewery to use beer in the dish but then also to pair with the dish. Um, we also have Dining in the Dark, it's a Chef Mall signature event where you um, eat uh, your entire four course meal blindfolded. Oh wow, yeah. so many great things to do here at Mount Sequoia. Uh, but not just programs, uh, there's also the opportunity for people to come and, and use the facilities in, in other ways, right, recreationally. Right, yes, we have a 32 acre campus and part of that is our, our swimming pool. And um, people can sign up for adult or children's swim lessons. Um, you can also buy day passes. We have memberships and you can come up and enjoy um, you know this beautiful pool with trees all around it um, pretty much anytime you want to. And we also have tennis courts. We offer tennis lessons. Those tennis courts are open and free to the public to use. We also have a volleyball court, basketball courts, and even a gaga ball pit. There are so many fun things to do here at Mount Sequoia. No matter if you live in Fayetteville or anywhere in Northwest Arkansas, this is a place you need to come and check out. Christina, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Rob.